What's going on everybody? Welcome to part three of our AI building in StarCraft 2 with Python tutorial series. In the previous video, we got to the point where we're creating more workers, creating more pylons so we can create more workers. And now what we want to do is um, kind of two things. One is at least we want to start collecting the other resource that we're going to need, which is like this Vespine gas. Uh, and then we also, because eventually we're going to exhaust our little area, we need to expand to new areas. And we need to at least get this stuff out of the way before we get into the kind of offensive uh, types of strategies and stuff. Like how are we actually going to attack our enemy? So because up to this point, we're just trying to get our resources under control. Um, and then we can go on into actually building an army. So let's go ahead and get started. So once we've got workers and pylons, the next thing uh, that we need is, so like the workers will automatically like distribute workers when we call um, this. It's just gonna automatically distribute them across, um, you know, mining the minerals and grabbing the gas from the, the geysers. So really all we need to do is just build the buildings on top of the geysers and the rest is kind of handled for us anyways. So um, the things that we build on top of these geysers are called assimilators. So we're gonna go ahead and away self build, oops, oh. <laughs> self dot build underscore assimilator. And um, maybe we'll call this build, yeah, we'll go with assimilators, I guess. So then uh, we need to, along with pylon, we need to also import um, assimilators and um, and then uh, well actually it should be assimilator and then we're ready to actually build the the function or the method rather uh, to, to build the assimilator so what we're going to do is come down here let me scroll up a little bit so async def build assimilators. Don't forget to pass self, otherwise we'll hit that error again. And then again, we we wanna build the assimilators wherever we can or need to. So we wanna iterate over our nexus building. So for nexus in self.units of nexus type um, that are ready, so the nexus is built. Uh, what we wanna do is build um, we're gonna say, well, first we have to find the actual like Vespine geysers. So, or Vaspine. So, Vaspines, uh, we're gonna say is self.state.vespine underscore geyser uh, dot closer underscore than. So, we're looking for any geysers that are within 25 units of our individual nexus that we're like iterating through. So that's gonna tell us where the Vespines actually are. Then what we wanna say is for uh, Vaspine, I guess it's Vaspine, I don't know, Vespine, Vaspine. Anyway, for Vaspine in uh, Vaspines, uh, um, what we wanna do is if, if we can't afford one, so if not self dot can afford uh, assimilator, we just want to break, not all caps, uh, just simply break. So if we can't afford, we're going to go ahead and break. And then if not, uh, self.units assimilator uh, dot clo closer than 1.0. So if we don't, basically if we don't have an assimilator built on top of that specific ves Vaspine, okay? Um, so as long as... If not, this dot exists. So this is a really long statement, but basically it's just saying that if there's not an assimilator that exists really close to that Vaspine already, um, if, so if that's not already the case, we're going to await self dot do, and then we're gonna call one of our workers to build. Um, and in fact, um, so what we actually need to do is if we can't afford if we can't afford we need to break then what we actually want to do is grab a worker so we're going to say worker equals self dot select build worker and then we want to select a build worker 
near here. So vasping dot position. So um, we might find that we don't have a worker that's like close to that, that position for whatever reason. So if worker is none, so if we just can't find one, we need to go ahead and break. Otherwise, as long as there's not already a vast bean there, we want to await self.do, use that worker to build. Um, what do they want? What do we want them to build? Well, an assimilator. Where do we want to build it? Uh, va vast peen. So on this vast this vast peen location. So that should give us our assimilators. Uh, let's see. This is just a pep error. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's go ahead and run this and see how we've done. Hopefully we don't have any errors. We are running real time. It should it should pop it up pretty quickly. Um, so then besides this, um, the other thing we need to do um, is we're going to go ahead and expand our forces in this uh, in this tutorial. And then that way in the neck. Uh oh, yeah, we definitely hit an error. What was the issue? Sente bot has no ob no attribute unit. Um, build assimilators uh, for self. Oh, is it? I think it might be units with an S. Units. Let's try that again. So while we wait on that, um, the next thing we want to do is expand to new areas. And again, uh, this is kind of like a low hanging fruit because we can just actually just call expand now. Now, obviously you don't want to just expand um, infinitely. That was just by the way from, from bot AI, right? That's just an included method. Let's see if we're going to build on top of one of these geysers soon. It should happen relatively quickly. I'm not really sure what's going to be required. So if probably first we're going to make these workers and then we're going to build on top of the guy. Oh, yeah, see, there's one going right now. Okay, so we're building the assimilator here. And then again, the distribute workers should automatically kind of distribute workers to this um, assimilator. So the next thing, there goes another one. So the next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and run this expansion. So I'm going to yes. Um, and then I'm going to come down here. I'm going to set real time to false now so we can just get things going a little quicker. Um, and so after we do the build the simulators, uh, the next thing we're going to do is await self dot uh, expand. So even though in theory we actually could do self dot um, and we could just call this expand now method, um, that would be probably not the greatest idea because um, you don't want to just expand to all the resource areas because especially as you get closer to your enemy, um, they're going to, they're going to, it's going to be a lot easier for them to attack those positions rather than, than for you to defend those positions. So you probably only want to expand. And then also you're going to have to create the workers. You only have a, a limited number of workers that you, so your supply, your total population doesn't get to exceed 200. So at some point you're probably going to have too many workers anyways if you just try to expand to all the resource areas so you, you you only want to expand when it makes sense when like you're you're really prepared to expand now again this just like um some of the other things that we've seen this you know when should you expand um is actually a very very complicated decision that you have to make but for now we're going to keep it really really simple and just expand to either two or three nexus points like at, at resource areas. So anyways, um, we're going to await self.expand and then uh, we'll just come down under here async def expand. Don't forget to pass self. And what we're going to do or how we're going to do this is we're just going to say if self.units so if self units nexus dot amount so we don't actually care if the nexus is is ready or it's being built or whatever if nexus dot amount um, is less than um, 
we'll go, I'll say three for now. That's probably a healthy expansion number. Any less than that, it might not be enough. Any more than that, it might not be enough. But again, if your enemy decides to just immediately rush you, um, this is probably too many to just build immediately right out of the gate. Uh, you're really stretching yourself uh, pretty thin. But anyways, so if, let's just say three for now. So you're gonna have a, a goal of hitting three resource areas. If self.unit's nexus amount is less than three and self.can afford uh, a nexus, let's go ahead and await um, self.expand now. So the rest of the logic is already handled for us. It's a pretty easy operation for us to make. So let's go ahead and save that. Uh, run that and again, this is real-time false. So it should it should be like super quick like <laughs> the whole game unless we hit like some sort of error or something which is totally possible Okay, no error yet. And actually, you can already see that we went ahead and expanded down here immediately. And then probably relatively soon, we'll have expanded. Yep, we're expanding here and actually building a nexus here. Uh, it looks like we went down to here and, and built on a geyser, but there's actually no nexus there. Uh, and it looks like here we, we're building on the geysers and we've put up our nexus and all that. So anyway, as you can see, this is super fast. We're already at the four minute mark. We've also put up some, some uh, assimilators here. Probably not the wisest decision in the entire world. Uh, you probably want these to be maybe a little closer to your to where you are. So, like maybe what we should do is let's just exit. We're gonna get attacked any moment now and lose because we don't have any fighting units. Um, you know, may, maybe rather than 25, we go with say 15. That might be a little more smart. That way you have them just a little closer to where we're trying to be because it's not in your favor to have them outside of areas that you can really protect. Um, otherwise you've just wasted resources most likely on them. I just want to see uh, how this does real quick to make sure that's a little more reasonable. As long as we get something built on these, yeah, that'll make sense. So then yeah, once we've got those, got our pylons, this guy's navigated over here, we're building our nexus up, beautiful, beautiful. And what about down here? Also just building a nexus here. So this looks like it's making a little more sense. We should probably keep our, and let's see if we get, yeah, so we're building on top of those geysers already. Here, again, we've built on top. Okay, so I, I think probably 15 is a smarter number to go with than 25. Okay, so, um, all right, I think that's a good stopping point. Um, got ice in my mouth now, great. So, the next thing that we're gonna do, after I finish chewing on this ice, is um, in the next tutorial, I think what we're gonna do is build our offensive types of buildings, so like barracks, basically, only here it's a gateway, um, and then after the gateway is produced, you want to build the cybernetics core, and then we can build the stalker that we're going to build. But there's so much that goes in. You don't have to. You don't have to build those same things as me if you don't want. If you want to go to like a, a different um, entity or something like that, have at it. So we're already under attack by, by the, uh, the guy. So we're not going to do very well because. <laughs> These guys are just going to keep coming after us. So yeah, we definitely, our, our next thing here is we've got tons of resources. Actually, you can't really see the resources. There you go. Uh, we've got tons of resources, um, but we don't have any, any, we're not producing any units or anything like that. Um, and we totally could. So that's what we're going to do in the next tutorial. Uh, if you got questions, comments, concerns, whatever, feel free to leave them below. As always, thank you for your support, your sponsorships, and your subscriptions, and all that jazz. And I will see you in another tutorial.